We're in Palo Alto, California this morning, the birthplace of Silicon Valley, and I'm excited to be at the garage where Hewlett Packard got started in 1938 by Dave Packard and Bill Hewlett. This is it. This is the birthplace of Silicon Valley. It's the original garage where Hewlett Packard started the company. And it has a lot of memories for me personally because 25 years ago in 1993, I started at Hewlett Packard Labs in, in Palo Alto, California. I was drawn by the technical revolution of PCs and workstations with Intel started originally in the 1970s with their microprocessor and Hewlett Packard packaged it in the most powerful workstations at the time in the early 90s. That combined with the entrepreneurial and technical and founder spirit that the Silicon Valley has was just hard to beat and it attracted me to come here from Germany. I was very fortunate to get a job at Hewlett Packard Labs to be part of the next revolution. The Silicon Valley has always been the epicenter of all innovation in the IT industry. And uh, while the 80s were defined about the PC and workstation revolution, I discovered the internet before the web, just the internet, in the early 90s and I figured that has got to be the next big revolution. At the same time, I also figured if everything gets connected, you're going to need a massive need for distributed systems. So when Hewlett Packard offered me, Hewlett Packard Labs offered me the opportunity to work on smart, self-organizing, self-optimizing distributed systems here in the Silicon Valley, I jumped at the opportunity. And today, you would call those kind of systems the cloud. As the cloud is proliferating through the traditional enterprise, and changing the way the traditional enterprise works. I'm excited to be a leader in the software-defined data center revolution, working with partners like Hewlett Packard, Intel, and VMware to provide the data foundation to make all of those software-defined data centers successful. And this is it. This is the garage where it all started. In typical Silicon Valley fashion, they started their company in a garage, building their first product, the tone oscillator that they actually sold to Disney for um, a movie of Disney. And, uh, and that really got them started. And to me, that's a very special moment because as an entrepreneur, you always look at that, that moment when a company really starts and what's behind that and what it takes and where it goes from there. At Hewlett Packard, actually, I met um, uh, one of the uh, key uh, engineers at Deterra. Um, he did some amazing work for us. And then we did a, another company right after Hewlett Packard where we uh, were early employees, uh, Transmeta, which was the biggest semiconductor IPO in a decade. Um, and you could call it today the software-defined microprocessor uh, and it was the foundation for all kind of uh, internet mobile devices at the time. It was a challenger for Intel um, and that was, a, that, was a, that was a big success and a big IPO at the time. The, uh, um, the success at Deterra uh, really comes from the partnerships we've built with Hewlett Packard, with Intel, with VMware, with you know, some of the leaders in the software-defined revolution. Uh, and uh, then obviously the, ta the talent pool, the incredible talent we've been able to bring into Deterra, ba reaching back to the days of Hewlett Packard Labs, um, but throughout a number of companies, Transmeta, Cisco, Google, um, that kind of talent pool coupled with the partnerships that we have right now is really fueling our growth. The amazing technical team we built at Deterra was able to solve a number of hard problems that uh, really are needed to make the data foundation for the software-defined data center successful. Number one, enterprise performance. Uh, you got to be able to run enterprise primary workloads in your software-defined data center. Number two, automation. You got to be able to manage the data across the data center seamlessly and intelligently. And number three, of course, provide a wide choice of hardware variety to that wide choice of applications. So if you look at these three things, the, the performance to run enterprise workloads, to run primary workloads, no one else has been able to deliver that before on commodity hardware. Um, the automation, the fact that um, we can orchestrate the data across the data center and across multiple data centers seamlessly, driven by each individual application. And the fact that we can all run it on a variety of commodity hardware serving to a broad portfolio of applications. I'm very, very proud that we solved all of those problems and therefore become a leader in that space, working with these partners like Hewlett Packard, Intel and VMware to provide the data foundation for the software defined data center. To deliver on all of those key factors for a successful data foundation, performance, automation, data orchestration, and choice, uh, we hired some of the best talent in the industry. One of the co-founders is Nick Ballinger, and Nick Ballinger contributed a, a large part of the, the data path to the Linux kernel. So he understands better than just about anyone else how to make um, data I.O. in Linux run fast and extract every piece of every bit of hardware performance uh, from the underlying media. 
the next layer we had to solve after you extract every bit of performance from the underlying media is to actually deliver that performance across the data center to all the applications. And that's where Bill Rothas came in, one of the smartest engineers I've ever met. We actually go all the way back to Hewlett Packard Labs and we've done three startups together. And what he did is he did an array of almost magical technologies. One of them I just want to mention, it's a distributed lockless coherency protocol. To my knowledge, the only one outside of Google. That allows us to perform on par with traditional proprietary hardware arrays um, and deliver the same kind of level of enterprise performance to applications. Once we've solved the performance problem, the next problem we need to solve is to actually uh, build very long arms so that we can manage all those systems across the data center under, under one single, uh, in one single hyperscale system. And that's actually the second uh, founder of Deterra, Claudio Fleiner, um, who was the right-hand architect of David Sheridan. David Sheridan is the head of the distributed systems uh, department at Stanford. Uh, and he found uh, Larry and Sergey and wrote them the first check to a company that then be later on became Google. So I would say we know a few things about, you know, building hyperscale systems and having those long arms to sort of manage all the systems in the data center coherently. Once uh, you have the performance and, and the long arms um, to manage all that software-defined revolution, now you want to automate it. And this is where the fourth key rock star in the engineering team comes in. Raghu Krishnamurthy. Raghu Krishnamurthy was one of the two key architects of Cisco UCS before, um, which really disrupted the blade server market with their uh, brand of automation. And so he knows a few things, how to automate systems at scale. And he brought that at Deterra, and that's the part um, where we intelligently really manage the data and the data platform uh, across the data center. So the way we brought the team together was in a very non-traditional way. We actually didn't hire a lot of traditional storage people. We really wanted to rethink data management and data storage. And to do that, we hired one of the thought leaders in Linux. We hired one of the thought leaders in web scale, hyperscale systems. And we hired one of the thought leaders in how you automate systems at scale to really deliver this new way, this new kind of data foundation uh, for all those software defined data centers. And I'm very, very excited um, how we brought this unique product together with this, with this very unique, amazing team. Your Packard Enterprise is excited about bringing Deterra in because we uh, provide a foundational block for their own software-defined data center uh, software stack. Um, they uh, are becoming one of the leaders in private cloud, in software-defined data center. And again, the foundation for every software-defined data center is a capable data platform. And that's where Deterra comes in. So, Hewlett Packard and Deterra are very complementary in delivering that kind of software-defined revolution to the rest of the industry. Traditional IT vendors like Hewlett Packard are transforming the business model from being hardware centric to be more service centric, to deliver infrastructure as a service, because that gives them the opportunity to capture a much broader part of the value chain. Not only in the traditional model can they capture the value in the box, but they can deliver, they can capture the value across the entire life cycle of the box. From provisioning and planning, through operations, through servicing, and ultimately uh, through scaling that system across the data center. And that's a fundamental change of business model that also allows them to capture a lot more value in the market. Revolutions like this happen in our industry only every 10 to 20 years. And I'm very proud and very excited to be working with HPE because HPE and Deterra together are bringing the software-defined revolution to enterprise storage. Learn more about how Deterra on HPE servers brings the software-defined revolution to enterprise storage at deterra.io slash HPE and contact Deterra at hpe at deterra.io.